Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your favorite girl gamer, Pretty Loves Pink. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you're liking it, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, tell your friend to subscribe, tell their friend to subscribe, and follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Pretty Loves Pink. Thank you and enjoy. So after 13 seasons in the league, I am finally the greatest of all time. You guys can stop comparing me to Jordan now because I have finally surpassed him with seven championship rings, five MVPs, 10 all-star selections, seven first-team All-NBA, seven defensive player of the year, and 10 first-team All-Defense at the tender age of 35. The only thing left to do is retire. I have nothing else to prove. I am the greatest basketball player of all time. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. It's a real honor to be here today in the company of so many people that have helped shape my career and made me who I am today. I never would have dreamed so many years ago when I began my first season in the NBA that one day I'd be standing here about to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. I know I'm supposed to keep this short, but there are a few things that I really want to say while I have the opportunity. To begin with, I made concerted efforts in my entire career to be more than just a great scorer. I felt like I had the complete package, and it's important to me to show that I could rebound, defend, and pass the ball with the very best of them. It takes a certain mentality to be truly dominant, and I feel like I was born with the will to win and a hunger for competition that was unmatched by any of my contemporaries. The only way to really prove something like that, though, is to win a title. Without a ring, it wouldn't feel right laying claim to the greatest of all time label. But as an NBA champion, I don't have any hesitation in saying that I belong in that discussion. All the awards and accolades are one thing, but if you can't say you took down every last competitor and held up that trophy at least once, at the end of the day, you simply weren't good enough. I'm proud of my legacy, and I don't have any shame in admitting that. I hope that, if nothing else, my career was at least entertaining for all of y'all. And if not, I want you to know that it was always entertaining for me. And finally, I couldn't come here without acknowledging what a true pleasure it was to play with some of the great players along the way. Not only did I have some pretty amazing teammates, but I made some lifelong friends with some of my biggest rivals also. Guys like LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry, Anthony Davis, I know you all are out there, and it means the world to me to know that I have your support. And last but not least, Coach. Coach, I know you're out there too. You were like a second father to me in many ways. You helped shape my career from early on. And you were instrumental in turning me into the basketball player I became. So thank you for that from the bottom of my heart. And then closing, I'd also like to thank all the fans. You all made this journey what it is. And your love and your support over the years has helped me get to this point today. I have plenty of assists in my career, but none of them were as big as what you gave back to me. I wouldn't have made it to the Hall of Fame without you all. So thank you. Once again, thank you, everybody. Peace. 